Is this a dog, a fox, or a llama? Comment down below. Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. And don't you worry, I might have a way to preserve this beautiful piece of art. So unfortunately it looks like one of the knobs is missing, maybe that's why they replaced them. So this one is very shy and until now I haven't been able to actually touch him but he finally came around and had a snack. Can you see how unevenly I'm sending this? It's because it's not flat and I have the same problem with the back of this dresser and that's why by accident I send it through the veneer in one little spot but I found a solution.
Because this drawer was in such a rough condition, I decided to take all of the drawer bottoms out and deal with them this way. There's a nail here. I think someone tried to repair this before. What a life. Yeah. I don't know this cat's name either. This is my neighbor's cat, but she's very friendly. This was gonna take forever, so I just took the bottom off.
because the paint was too deep in the grain, removing all of it was not an option. So I used the same principle to expand the wood grain and to enclose the paint within. And this is how I saved the precious piece of art from the front of the dresser and covered the piece of veneer that I sanded through on the back at the same time. I used my X-Tool D1 Pro laser to engrave it at the same aspect ratio. On the top there were some holes from the missing piece of trim, so I made it. It was too close to the back to drill through the existing holes, so I just marked the spots and I used my drill press to drill the holes. I used my router to make this piece that I just made look similar to the rest of the trim on the dresser. After sanding for two days straight, I went home and cried for a little bit and then went back to sanding. There were some deep stains in the legs that I wouldn't be able to remove with sanding, so I used oxalic acid and I rinsed it with water when it dried. There were also some drawer stoppers missing, so I made them and I glued them in place. I did a little more sanding and I was ready for the final touches. I used the smallest amount of stain to tint the oil because the stains were not completely gone from the legs and I applied the finish. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you who support me via Buy Me Coffee or my Amazon wishlist link or by clicking the super thanks button. I really enjoyed working on this project and please remember to subscribe as most of you watching my videos are not subscribers. This dresser was made of solid mahogany, so I didn't want to change the color of it at all. I absolutely love the natural look of mahogany and I just used some oil to preserve it and give it some shine. I also used a piece of plywood to engrave my logo on and I attached it to the back of the dresser. And here are the final results. Enjoy and see you in the next video.